Okay, you're gonna do a little unfiltered view uh, of the night sky from Mount Pinos, California. I've got a 3x view of the night sky, Orion in particular, from Mount Pinos, California. Looking at it with a Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor image intensifier, unfiltered. Camera is a Panasonic GH3 set to, uh, which is set to camera, 60th of a second shutter, ISO is 400. And we're staring at the sword in the belt of Orion right now. The upper three stars, three bright stars going across from left to right are Island Attack, Alnalan, and Mintaka. And a little below them is the so called Sword of Orion. Hey, and a meteor came through. And in that sword is the Orion Nebula, which you can kind of make out there. I'm going to up my shutter speed one tick if I can. That's an 80th of a second shutter. Uh, okay, we'll stay at a 60th. So that's the Orion Nebula M42 at 3 power, 3x magnification. Looks pretty good. Nice, pristine sky tonight. If we come up to that leftmost star on the tack, you can make out just to the upper left of it a little faint fuzzy thing. That would be the Flame Nebula. Don't know what the IC or NGC number of that is, but it's the flame. It's pretty teeny tiny here. I'm going to try this again at 6x in a little bit. This is with a 3x night vision lens, but uh, you've got the flame. And if we go up a little higher, we've got uh, that star's bell juice. That is one bright star. And another meteor. And if I come down, I'll go back this way to the belt and then swing over and lower into, if I can get to it, Canis Major, right there is the star Sirius, the dog star. Come down a little, we've got the star cluster M41, open star cluster, right there in the center of the field. And if I swing off to the left and up a little, a couple more star clusters. I believe there's a bright one to the right, don't know what that's called, and then there's a really dim thing to the left, which is probably an open star cluster, I would suspect. I'll have to look that up later, but uh, a couple star clusters in hmm, maybe Canis Major or Monoceros, not sure which constellation. Go back to Orion again if we can find it. Where are you? Right there, M42 in the belt, and we'll swing over to Taurus if I can find Taurus. Ooh, another meteor. They're all over the place tonight. Looking for that, there it is, the V shape in Taurus, right there, the bright star on the left, the top of the V, and the left side of the V is uh, Aldebaran, Alpha Taurus. Thing kind of goes uh, from south to north at this point. Uh, and then I'm going to see if I can catch Pleiades. There we go, right there, the Seven Sisters. C1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't know, a lot of stars, I don't know what the Seven Sisters are exactly, but I uh, can't catch the nebulosity around those. They don't, do not have the sensitivity for that with this uh, photo cathode on a Gen 3. Daily Mars tonight will not see the blue nebulosity in real time or photographically even. So that's the Pleiades, okay, and I'm going to swing it back to uh, Taurus. Then I'm going to go back to Orion. If I can find Orion right there, and uh, that's going to be it. So there you have some interesting stuff. Night Sky 3x magnification, Gen 3 white phosphor, unfilmed image intensifier, 3x view. Okay, that's a wrap. Yeah, my camera's taken too from the wind.